Hi everyone, it's Erin Van Handel from ZMOX Sewing and as you can see I have an extra special guest with me. <laughs> Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Mark. I'm Erin's husband. <laughs> so Mark is with me for this video because he wants to know how to darn jeans. I recently fixed a pair of Beloved jeans by um, using a technique actually from Melly Sews. I will link to the video for this in the description. <laughs> That's right. And I was really happy with how the darning turned out. It has given my jeans a lot more life and Mark saw how well it worked for me and he was like, hey, can you show me how to do that maybe? So Mark, I want to know. Yes. What is your experience with sewing and what's your comfort level with sewing? All right. Well, I've sewed a few Halloween costumes. I've uh, sewed some little storage bags made once for our advent calendar. Mm -hmm so that we could keep it from year to year. Um, and so I'm a little bit of a rogue sewist, but uh, you don't let me touch your serger. Here's what we're repairing today. On the right, you can see that it is starting to become threadbare. And on the left, the fabric is super soft and super thin. So we are going to reinforce that with this darning method. Here is the end state we're shooting for. Here's a close-up of the darning. Here's what we need to fix these jeans. We need interfacing. We need scraps of stretched denim. We need an iron. We need variegated denim thread, which is a mix of poly and cotton. Got some regular old Schmetz sewing needles, not too big, not too small. And the star of this operation, is the free motion foot, which is going to let us do our darning. Okay, so Mark, first things first, turn your jeans inside out. Donezo. All right, let's take a look at this crotch. So we're gonna make a patch out of the stretched denim. Okay and put it over the worn area. Probably a better way to do it would be in the greatest direction of stretch. Oh, that's true. Like so this is the stretchiest, the, yeah. I think what I'd like to do is do a V in here so that I can get as much sort of in there. Okay. Does that sound right? Yeah. Hot tip for you, round your corners uh, gently. Then it, uh, makes them a little harder to peel up. Okay, let's move your jeans out of the way. Perfect. Now, we are going to take some fusible interfacing and make you patch. With the fusible interfacing, this is stretch interfacing and because we this is set up in the direction of greatest stretch. We are going to match that. You see this less stretchy, this more stretchy. We're gonna to try to match that. So just match my pa patch? Sort of. We want the um, fusible to, I would say, extend out probably half to three quarter of an inch, just to make sure that um, it's, it really surrounds the patch. Set that down. Yep. And then set the patch on top. That's what we got. Now we're ready to fuse the patch over the hole. All right. So we got jeans laying on a, a ham. Yes, I uh, forgot to mention this when I was going through um, useful tools. This isn't, you don't need a ham, but when you are dealing with a curved area, 
like we are here in the crotch and like the booty area, a ham will make pressing just go better. So basically what is happening, if it wasn't clear before, we are using the fusible interfacing to hold the denim patch in place for the darning. Feels pretty good to me. Feel nice and secure. Okay. This is the darning. So when you are darning, you're basically making new fabric with thread. And how that is going to happen is with the free motion foot, and the feed dogs dropped, you are going to be drawing lines of zigzag stitches on the fabric. And you are going to be drawing lines this way, very close together. And then we're gonna turn your jeans and then you're gonna be drawing lines the long way. And we're just going to be doing layers and layers and layers of these three step zigzag stitches. There's a bit of a learning curve with it, I found, when I was doing my jeans. All right, we are back and it's time to follow up with Mark on his jeans mending project. So Mark, you have had a day to wear your jeans. Mm -hmm. What happened? I didn't even know it was there. It very quickly um, became something that was invisible to me. I, I didn't feel constrained. It was a little, it was a little stiff when I first put them on, but uh, I got used to that and it didn't, it just seemed to like uh, flex like denim does. So what are your lasting impressions of learning how to mend your jeans this way? I think that it seemed like something that was going to be very complicated and in the end it was actually very easy because it wasn't very precise. Mm -hmm. So any concluding thoughts for um, maybe someone who's never used this technique? Um, if you feel like you're up to it, if you think you might be able to do it, then I think you'd be able to do it. Cool. Well, thank you for playing along with my little experiments. Yeah. And uh, maybe we can do something like this in the future. That's great. I have ideas. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you in a few weeks. Bye. Bye. You ready for the fashion show where we show off your crotch? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Is that what we call it now? <laughs> oh. right. Any concluding thoughts? <laughs> or are you just making a weird face? <laughs>